Good morning. Hi. So it's stretch time. So what do we need? A mat, some blocks, a strap. If you don't have a strap, a yoga strap, you can use a belt of a um, bathrobe, for example. So we need one of those. And some cushions, bolsters, if you have those, but just ordinary cushions will do. And there will be at one point where I option using the wheel. But don't worry if you don't have a wheel, it doesn't matter. But let's get going. Okay, so let's get down to the mat. We're going to start in Supta Baddha Konasana, which is butterfly. I'm going to do this with the strap around the feet and into the lower back. So make a big loop, big circle with your strap, just making sure it doesn't interfere with my microphone. I'm just going to move my mic quickly. There you go. So I'm going to bring the feet together and you're taking the loop underneath the feet for the strap and then work yourself down. Now check that the strap is going down the very, very bottom of the back. So across the back of the hip bones. So going down with the elbows. So you can tighten up your strap if you have an adjustable one to bring the feet a little bit closer. So make sure that strap is nicely into the, not actually in the lower back itself, but more into the hips, coming across the um, front of the hip bones. And then open the arms into cactus. So elbows high and then the palms of the hands facing up. And settle down here, closing the eyes. Begin to take your attention inwards. Letting go of anything that's happened up to this moment. The only thing that matters right now is being on your mat, observing your breath. So notice the gentle flow, the rhythm of the breath in and out. Allowing the abdomen to rise and fall. Chest expanding. Letting in lots of fresh new air into the body, your life force. And picture this breath entering into every cell of your body, revitalizing you, energizing you, refreshing you. In through the nose, out through the nose. Now allowing your head to gently roll from side to side. Steady, rolls, not fast, nice and slow. You want to hold on one side, hold on one side. Breathing into any tightness, releasing, really letting go on the exhale. See if you can sink your lower back a little bit further into the mat. So not overarching the back. See if you can tuck your lower ribs in and squeeze into the abdominal area. So squeeze and lift into the pelvic floor. It's quite tricky when the arms are like this, if the hands are reaching down to the knees, if you find that a little bit easier. Then we'll rock side to side with the hips. Five more deep breaths here. Take a deep, deep breath in. Fill the lungs a little bit more. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. Four more of those deep breaths in. One more. Good. 
lifting the head to look towards the feet. We'll wiggle your elbows a little further back and then coming up. So you can take your feet off your strap and then flipping yourself over, taking your blocks, and taking a puppy pose. So if blocks are shoulder distance apart, you're going to scoop the belly up. Knees hip distance apart and then walk with blocks and hands forwards. So you send your chest down towards the mat and pointing your tailbone up towards the sky like a dog would stretch on the floor. So lowering the head between the arms into the floor, so forehead into the mat, skip the belly up. Five more deep breaths here. See if you can push your armpits further down towards the floor and slide the shoulder blades apart. So working nicely into the shoulder joints. Just keep scooping the belly up. This is your Uddiyana Bandha. Giving the pelvic floor a little squeeze and lift it while we're here. Taking a breath in. So lift the chest up gently and then taking the blocks to the side. And then taking the hands forwards. If you can take the forearms to the floor. And look towards your fingertips. Five breaths. Inhaling to come up, walk your hands back. Let's take a little thread the needle. So take your weight into your left hand, reach the right arm, and exhale, thread that right hand down, riding on your right shoulder, and then walking the left arm forwards and push the left armpit down towards the floor. Three more breaths. Inhaling to come up, switch sides. So the right hand presses down, left hand reaches up. Thread the needle through to the right. So you're on your left shoulder. And then walking the right hand forwards. Push the right armpit down towards the floor. Steady breaths, scoop the belly up. Take a deep breath, stretch into the right shoulder. And then also a little bit of stretch in the back of the left. Inhaling to come up, walk your hands back. We'll do some shoulder contractions in tabletop. So we're going to push into the floor. Just five of those. Put yourself down with your bottoms. Grab your holsters or your cushions. Now you can sit on a block for this one, it's called Uddhavisa Kanasana, just to elevate the hips if you feel you need it. But pad up. In front of you, lift the arms to the sky, then reaching forwards, forwards, forwards. Elbows down, forehead to rest on the cushions. And stay here for one minute. Flexing the feet, pushing the backs of the legs into the floor, squeeze into the thighs. If you can bring your chest down a little bit lower. So really hinging from the hip creases so not rounding the back, sending yourself forwards from the hips forwards, hip creases forwards first, before the head rounds. 
Soften into the shoulders, the face, taking out any tension in the body. No tension anywhere. Just gently squeezing into the thighs, pushing the legs into the floor, flexing the feet. If you need to take a cushion away to go down a little more, if you feel you have space to do so. Really lovely stretch into the lower back. Five more breaths. You want to take hands to your feet, the last few breaths, head down. Another two breaths. Then inhale, slowly coming up, push into the hands, flipping ourselves over onto our knees. We're going to take a little frog from here. Keeping your blocks or cushions, whatever you're using for to land onto. Now slide the knees apart with the feet pointing out, toes pointing out. So you're onto the knees and then lowering the chest down onto your cushions or blocks, whatever you have to land. Slide the knees a little bit further apart, then rest the head down. One minute here. Nice, slow, steady breaths. You can turn the palms of the hands up. Or take the hands into cactus. Really working into the hip joints. Allowing the hips to sink towards the floor. Deep. Steady breaths, so exhaling, releasing, letting go, sending the knees a little further apart. So you're flexing the feet, the feet are further out than the hips. You need to remove the cushion if you feel you can go a little lower. You can go a little lower. Do what works for you. This is your practice, your stretch, nobody else's. You're all made differently. Breathing deep into the hips, another five breaths. Thinking low, low. Lower the hips, slide the legs straighter. So you can come off your knees. And we're going to flip ourselves over and take a bridge here. So a couple of options, one with the wheel, another with the support of the block. So I'll show you the block option first. Just taking the feet nice and close to the bottom, hip distance apart, rolling up onto the shoulders and then taking the block on its tallest edge Sliding the shoulder blades together, opening up the chest of the hands to the floor. Close the eyes and take some nice steady breaths here. And take this pose. Setu Bandha Dandasana for a minute. Or Take your yoga wheel under the back. Drape yourself generously over your wheel. Extending the legs. One minute. You can reach the arms back. So your wheel is at the very base of the spine lumbar spine. Make the breath steady, even and deep. Soften all the muscles of the face, neck, shoulders. Breathe into any areas of tightness. So picture, send, picture sending your breath there. 
Breathe it in. Breathe in softness, dissolve tightness. You can bend your knees if you want more. Slowly coming up, having on your wheel, bend the knees bent, and the hips forwards. Great care can off your blocks or your wheel support. Coming on to your fronts now. We'll take the arms wide as you lay on your front. Laying on your front, the arms stretched wide. Then we'll roll the left shoulder into the mat, turning the left palm up. Then roll over onto your right side, taking the right knee up in a right angle like recovery, sending the, so the left knee up and the right foot back. And then we're reaching back with the right hand to the left, clasping the hands together, squeezing the shoulder blades. Five breaths. Wax the head onto the floor. So lifting the arms away from the body as much as possible. Rolling the right shoulder back. Squeeze the two blades together. And then over to the other side. Onto your front. So now you're flipping the right palm up, rolling over onto your right side, the right knee lifts. Reaching the left arm, arm behind, squeezing the arms away from the back, rolling the left shoulder back and down, and punching it up so making sure it's nice and far away from the ear. Five more breaths. And slowly release. Onto your backs, stretch with the strap to the legs a little bit. Take hold of your strap once more. Get a bit of a hamstring stretch. So use your, the loop you had earlier. Extend the left leg, ground the right, pull the strap up nice, um, nice and high for strap so your arm is straight. Take hold here for one minute. Pulling as much as you can the foot towards you, but keeping the left leg glued to the floor, that really like an anchor. With every exhale, feel a little softening into the hamstring, going really tight. Extend the length of your exhale now to be longer than the inhale. So inhale for four, and exhale for eight. So as you exhale for eight, feel a little bit more of an opening, more potential of stretch in the hamstring, so straightening out a little bit more with that leg. Another couple of breaths. Maybe you can hold the strap a little higher. Two more. And release. Over to the other side. One minute on this side. Hold that strap up nice and high. Noticing any difference left side, right side? I did squats yesterday in the gym. Front squats, so super hard. Lunges all with weights. So, this is a fantastic time to stretch the next day. Dogs haven't set in yet, but I'm sure they will. But probably tomorrow. Keep that right leg really strong, like an anchor. Keeping the hips and pelvis stable. Pull the left leg down towards you. 
practice inhaling for four, exhaling for eight. Using that longer exhale to release the muscle spindles. Giving yourself permission to straighten out the leg a little bit more because you might want to bend. Don't over stretch the back of the knee though, it doesn't have to lock out. You want to lock the joints. Let's hold another five breaths. And you're holding it, holding the strap a little higher, and you have a little big toe. Two more big breaths. And slowly release. Wrapping your right leg over the left, hook the right foot behind the left um, shin. Take your arms wide and drop the knees over to the left. Look to your right hand. Five breaths here. Keep that right shoulder glued to the floor. To center, on the inhale, switch the bind of the leg so now it's the left leg turn on top. Keep the arms open wide, palms facing back. Put your foot around, put me close to the ankle. And then sending your knees to the right as you tend to send your gaze to the left hand, keeping the left arm fixed, glued to the floor. Five deep breaths. Inhale to center. Hug the knees to chest. Lock and roll. Coming up. Left leg under right. Now you might want to sit on a block or a cushion for this as we come into Gondol Karsana. So if your hips are really tight, then elevate. Use your strap for the arms. We'll reach the right arm up. That's the left hand. So hold the strap from the top. You're reaching up the strap with the left hand. If you can reach the fingertips together, cross the fingertips together, eliminate the knee through the strap, hold it here, a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, hinge from the hip creases. So you're sinking your chest onto the top knee, top leg, Scooping the belly up, creating space. Let's shut the arm into the side of the head, so keeping the spine and neck straight. Five more breaths. Breathe deeply into the hips and into the shoulders and into the arms. And then inhale to lift up. Release the arms, alternate twist, switch the legs round. Left leg goes on top this time, the right leg falls underneath. To set it up, it's good to push into the hands, get the knees stacked one on top of the other, then sink the bottom back down. So use your strap if you need to, drop it down from above as you reach up from below with the other hand. So right hand reaches up from below, left hand is reaching down from above, clasping the fingers or using the strap in between. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to hinge and fold forwards. Noticing any difference on this side. We often don't have a Perfect, we don't have perfect symmetry in our hips and pelvis, so often one side can tighten the other, either due to the dominant stronger side or just the twist or torque in the hips. Five more deep breaths. Exhaling long, releasing, letting go, sinking a bit lower over the thigh. Two more breaths. Mm 
be inhaling to come up. Sending the legs forwards. And depending on how flexible you are, you can take a strap around the feet for this a forward fold. So hooking the strap around your feet. Lengthen the spine. So straight spine and then exhale. Hinging from the hip creases once more. So hinging forwards and down over the legs. So first the belly lands. Now if you don't find yourself going down that far, then use something to land onto. Take something on your knees or on the thighs. If you feel you want to push into something if you don't arrive at the legs. Soften the face, check you're not holding tension into the shoulders. If you can reach your toes and hook the big, big um, these fingers around the big toes or wrap the hands underneath the feet. So you go and modify as you need to. I'm using a strap, not using a strap. I'm using a block even beyond the feet. With your hamstrings are feeling nice and stretchy today. And you can reach beyond the feet to below the block. Scooping the belly up, the engage into the abs so that you're not forcing yourself down, you're using some strength in your abdominals to hinge the top half of the body down onto the legs. Scoop the belly up, create the space, soften into the shoulders, just give them a little wiggle. Head arrives lost. Down and down. Let's hold this one here for one whole minute. Settle down, settle into the breath, give yourself permission. Rest here a while, push the backs of the legs into the floor, give your thighs a squeeze, so squeeze into the glutes as well, into the hamstrings, into the quadriceps. And then release. See if it helps you to fold down a little bit more. Long exhales. The longer we hold these stretches, the better. And stretching the low back as well as the legs. Inhale to come up gently, taking the strap away. Coming down onto your backs. Extend the legs to the sky. Flexing the feet, squeeze into the thighs. We're going to hold this for a minute. Push the backs of the shoulders into the mat, the hands pushing the arms down into the floor. Really pushing, tensing actually for a moment. Squeeze into the thighs and then release. Tense, push into the floor with the hands, shoulders, lower back, thighs, squeeze, feet flex. Release. Let's do that five more times. So tense. Release. Tense. And release. Another two. You squeeze everything, you can scratch up the face. One more. I've missed a chance. Grab hold the outer feet. Take a little happy baby, rock side to side. And you need to chest, dropping the arms around the shins. Oh, 
one last stretch before we lie down. A little pigeon. Go right leg forwards. You might want to use a cushion or a block under the white hip. So give it a try with the block. Be upright for a little bit and then we're going to go forwards. So coming up onto the fingertips. Check your left leg is pointing directly behind you, hasn't been moved to the side. Hold it here. Looking into that left hip flex flexor. And a light touch with the fingertips. Reaching forwards. If you float your head, lift the right foot up a little bit higher so your leg is more at a 90 degree angle, in space to do that for you. Five feet up. Last deep breath in the next one. Pushing into the hands and then switching the legs. So the right leg is pointing back and the left leg is forwards. Take your cock foot underneath the left hip, left buttock. What you do is you tend to roll over to the side. level as possible. So you might notice the difference from one side to the other. Arms of the hips, and alignment of the hips and pelvis. Checking that back foot is still pointing directly behind you. Light touch with the hands. And then five breaths. Pushing down as much as you can. And then holding down forwards, lifting the left foot up a little higher if you can. Deep into the left hip joint. Five, five, the long breath. Mm -hmm. Last pose, seated on your block, feet together, eyes closed, take your strap, around your feet, so now we're in Supta Baddha, not Supta Baddha Konasana, we're in actual Baddha Konasana, you can just it a little bit shorter, Tighter, maybe, than you were. And then lying down, a little closer. So make any adjustments you need to. Maybe leaning forwards, opening the knees. Or sitting upright, whichever you prefer. Allowing your spine to round if you're coming forwards. Soften into the shoulders. Soften into the face, the neck, the little shape, the nose, the object. 
Use some circles with the nose. Check there's no tension in the body, not the body, the face. And then coming up to full seated. Five deep breaths with the eyes closed. Keeping your focus and attention inwards just for this few moments. Keeping your present moment awareness. Keep your hands to your heart center. And then bring your head to heart. You bow your head towards your fingertips. Bring your brain and heart into coherence. The light in you, my the light in you, my friend. Have a wonderful day. Remember to always stretch, stretching the muscles, it's deeply relaxing, and also gives you greater movability, flexibility mobility and uh, great enjoyment and also helps to prevent injuries and from happening so keeping the body strong and flexible at the same time have a wonderful day see you again soon take care Right, Vanessa.